Welcome to The Explainer. Today, we're going to talk about a skill that really separates junior developers from the senior ones, architectural thinking. It's the secret sauce for building apps that don't just work today, but can actually grow and change for years without falling apart. So here's our game plan. We're going to start with a problem that I'm sure feels very familiar to a lot of you. Then we'll get into the mindset shift you need to solve it, lay out a really practical blueprint, and then wrap up by looking at the amazing long-term payoffs. Okay, let's dive right in. This first section tackles a pain point that I guarantee almost every single developer has felt. It's that moment when your small, beautiful, simple project starts to, well, turn on you. And this quote just nails it, right? It's almost never about one single line of bad code. It's about not having a plan, a foundation that can actually support growth. You know, if the building's frame is weak, you can't just add a new floor and expect it not to cause cracks everywhere else. This is the classic symptom. You've been there, right? You fix a tiny styling issue on, say, the user profile page, and suddenly, the payment processing logic completely breaks. That's what happens in a tangled up project, where everything is so interconnected that touching one piece sends a shockwave through the whole system. So, how do we get out of that chaos? Well, the answer isn't some new shiny programming language or a fancy framework. It's all about a fundamental shift in our mindset from just being a coder to becoming a system designer. And the absolute core of this new mindset is separation of concerns. Now, it sounds kind of fancy, but it's really simple. Think of it like a well-organized kitchen. You've got a drawer for cutlery, a cupboard for plates, a pantry for food. You don't just store forks in the oven, right? In code, this means the part that shows you stuff on the screen shouldn't also be in charge of saving it to the database. This table just lays out that mental shift perfectly. A coder asks, how do I add this button? And they get the task done. But an architect? They ask, where does this button belong in the system? And how will it talk to everything else? It's all about zooming out from looking at a single brick to seeing the design of the entire building. All right, so this idea of systems thinking might still feel a little abstract. Let's make it super concrete. We're gonna look at a simple but really powerful blueprint you can apply to pretty much any web application to get that structure and clarity right away. So, a senior developer's blueprint almost always has these three distinct layers. First, you've got the UI layer. This is everything the user sees and touches. Buttons, forms, the whole visual shebang. Second is the logic layer. That's the brains of the operation, where all the business rules live. And third, the data layer. This is the memory. Its only job is to talk to the database. Each one has one job and one job only. And this, this is the before picture. We've all seen this, right? It's basically a code junk drawer. You've got your database files, your styling, your UI, and your business logic all just thrown in together. Good luck finding anything, let alone trying to figure out how it all connects. And now, the after. Just look at that. The really cool thing here isn't just that it's tidy, it's that immediate sense of calm and clarity it gives you. By creating folders that map directly to our three layers, UI, logic, and data, you instantly know where to find code, and just as important, where to put new code. So yeah, a clean folder structure is nice, but the benefits go so much deeper than just being organized. Let's talk about the real long-term payoff of thinking like an architect. This is where the magic really happens. The key thing to get is this. Good architecture is an investment. It stops that chaos before it can even start, which makes your project sustainable. Got a bug? You know exactly which layer to look in. Need to add a feature? Your team can work on different layers at the same time without tripping over each other. And when a new developer joins the team, they can look at this structure and instantly get a map of the entire system. This chart just drives the point home perfectly. With a chaotic system, your team is spending most of its time on maintenance, just putting out fires, and their speed is super slow. But with a solid structure, maintenance effort just plummets, and your team's velocity, their ability to build new cool stuff, it goes way, way up. So the final takeaway is this really powerful idea. Look. Anyone can write code that solves the problem right in front of them. But a senior developer, an architect, they design a system that not only solves today's problem, but is also ready for the challenges and features of tomorrow, the ones you haven't even thought of yet. And we'll just leave you with this question to think about. You don't need to go and rebuild everything overnight. Just think about your current work. Is there one feature, one little component that you could start to untangle? How could you pull apart its UI, its logic, and its data? Because that's it. That's how you start thinking like an architect.